Look, I'm not going to tell you the five best TWS under 2000 rupees or the best TWS from each and every brand. No, this is not that video. See, I have six TWSs here and these are the best rated, most popular TWSs under 2000 rupees without any gimmicks. So I'm going to tell you the one best TWS you should buy under 2000 rupees. So these are the earbuds. There's a OnePlus Nord Buds 2R that costs 2200 rupees, but you can get it below 2K easily during sales. There's the Realme Buds A3 Neo at 1999, the Oppo Enco Buds 2 at rupees 1600, the Anchor Soundcore R50i at 2000 rupees, and lastly, the Bote Airdops 141 at 1800 rupees. Now, apart from these, we also got the Redmi Buds 3 Lite, but no matter what I did, this just did not go into pairing mode, so I'm gonna skip it. So basically, these are the five best options, and out of these, which is the absolute best? See, the sound quality and the mic quality are my biggest priorities but let's start with the design and comfort first. So all of these earbuds come with very plasticky cases and all of them have type C ports for charging and they all have a colored LED for battery and pairing indication. Now one thing to note only the Bote earbuds have a proper dedicated button for pairing and resetting which I honestly prefer because on the other earbuds you have to open them up use the touch controls to pair them up which is honestly now, I've also seen a lot of budget earbud cases breaking off from the hinge, so it's important to note that the OnePlus case and the Anchor case feel the most well-built. The case on the Oppo and Bote earbuds also feel decent, but I'm not a big fan of the Realme case because the top here just feels a bit flimsy. As for the earbuds, they have the stick earbuds design, but you can see that most of them have the long stem design. OnePlus earbuds have the shorter stem and that has its advantages. I mean, all of them fit in my ears pretty well and they are comfortable to use, but I found the best fit with the OnePlus earbuds probably because of the shorter stem and the flatter profile. As for the weight, all of them have pretty comparable weight, beat for the case or the earbuds. Yes, the Bote and Anchor earbuds cases are kind of the heaviest, but it's not a big difference. Anyway, all of these earbuds have an IP rating, but the OnePlus earbuds have an edge here because along with splash resistance, it also has dust resistance with the IP55 rating, which is always good to have. Look, there aren't any problems with the design of any of these earbuds. I know there's the subject of the looks, but apart from that, more importantly, how do they sound? Now, before I get to that, let me make it clear that out of these, only the OnePlus Buds support fast paired, but that's limited to OnePlus phones. All of them also have Bluetooth 5.2 or Bluetooth 5.3, so there's no problem in terms of connectivity or range. When it comes to the audio specs, all of them have SBC and AAC support, and the OnePlus Buds have the biggest 12 millimeter drivers, while the rest have 10 millimeter drivers, and only the Oppo and the Realme Buds have support for Dolby Atmos. Now, the specs apart, I found the best audio quality out of these earbuds on the Oppo Enco Buds 2. It's just the loudest of the lot, so I was using it at 60% most of the time, and I like how crisp and clear the highs and mids are. The bass is also the best on this, thumpy and nice. The audio here is just without any doubts the best. The second best in terms of audio quality is the Anchor earbuds. I mean, this is also very loud and the audio quality is nice too without any distortions, but the Oppo Buds just beats it in terms of bass. The third best are the OnePlus Buds, which aren't the loudest, which is surprising considering they have the biggest driver, but apart from that, they offer very crisp sound along with some good bass. As for the other two earbuds, the sound quality on the Realme Buds is kind of okay-ish. I feel the lack of bass and the bass boost option kind of kills the quality. The audio on the Bode earbuds was just not good enough for me compared to the other ones on the list. I mean, it's not outright bad, but it is underwhelming when you hear it. When it comes to latency, we tested each and every earbud and all of them have no issues with latency, but the best out of the lot was again Oppo and the worst was Anchor. Now the Bode Airdops 141 are the only earbuds here to have ANC, which works decently for the price. I mean, it cuts down on the AC noise, the fan noise, the usual, but that's pretty much it. Now it also has an ambient mode, aka the transparency mode, but it has a crackling sound all the time. So yeah, not good. Having said that, the tables kind of turn when it comes to mic quality. See, the OnePlus Oppo and Bote have quad mics, while the other two have dual mics, and I did a mic test with them, and out of the lot, the Bote one was surprisingly the best. Here's the mic test in action. Now that the specs are out, it's time for the mic test. So first off, this is the audio quality from the OnePlus Buds Nord 2R, and this is what it sounds like. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Now, this is the audio from the Realme Buds A3 Neo, and what do you think? This is the audio from the Oppo Enco Buds 2, as you can see, and yeah, this is how it sounds like. Next up is the Anchor Sound for R50i, and this is what the mic quality from these earbuds sound like. Lastly, it's the Bote Airdops 141 with ANC, and so far, which one do you like the most in terms of mic quality? Let me know in the comments. See, it's clear that all of these have kind of average mics, but if I had to rank these earbuds in terms of mic quality, it'd be Bote, Oppo, Realme, OnePlus, and Anchor. 
Let's talk about the features now. So none of these earbuds have autoplay, pause, aka wear detection, but they do have touch controls for things like playing and pausing music, changing tracks, and also changing volume, which is very useful. Now one thing to note, the OnePlus earbuds and the Bote earbuds do not support volume control via tap controls. All of them also have app support, but surprisingly, Bote does not, and that means you cannot customize the tap controls or do something like a firmware update. As for the others, they have EQ options in the app. All of them have game modes for low latency while gaming. The OnePlus and Anchor have a couple of unique features. The OnePlus Buds have dual connectivity so you can switch between your laptop or your phone easily via tap controls. This is a very good feature, especially on budget earbuds. As for Anchor, it has support for Find My Earbuds, which is again, very useful and very good in this price range. As for the battery life, this is the battery life of the cases in these earbuds. Yes, they are mostly comparable, but the OnePlus case has the biggest battery. As for the earbuds, this is what they claim, but in our testing, the battery life at 70% volume was one hour or one and a half hours lesser. Look, it's time for the verdict, which is the best EWS to buy under 2000 rupees. Well, my choice, personally, without any doubts, is this, the Oppo Enco Buds 2. See, it has a nice design that I also think looks the best in this price range. It has the best sound quality that just feels richer compared to the others. The mic quality is also as good as it gets in this segment. The battery life is also good and the app brings most of the important features you need without any gimmicks. My second choice though would be the OnePlus Nord Buds 2R and the reason is simple. It has good audio, decentish mics, but more importantly, it has a better IP55 rating, more useful features like dual device connectivity and it just fits in the uh, best. Anyway, if you've used any of these earbuds for the longer term, make sure to share your experience in the comment section below so that everyone can know and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos so that we hit 3 million faster. Thanks for watching.